Hey guys, five things you do not need in your house. Number one is junk food. I know, get rid of it. Dig through your freezer, throw out the but ice please, cream. please, I love junk food. No, no. Save it for those special occasions that you're gonna actually go and buy it and eat it and then be done with it. If you have it in your house, you're gonna eat it. I know. And if you don't, I will. <laughs> I will come to your house and eat your junk food. Next up, building materials. <laughs> <laughs> I had to include this one because, so we had a, a home that was built and we we're the first people to live in the home. And it was really cool. It came with a bunch of building supplies, like, you know, extra big tiles and porcelain tiles and all this kind of thing. Um, problem is, we really didn't need most of those things. And a lot of them that we were keeping and keeping around in the garage were um, not very expensive. So like, hey, maybe when you need them, just order them or keep it stored away somewhere good. You just don't need a ton of them. We had a lot. <laughs> Number three is knickknacks. Now, some people really like having a lot of knickknacks in their house, but we find that a cluttered space kind of just clutters the mind a bit. It, it does not make production more efficient and you're constantly trying to like shovel things around to make space for whatever you're doing. And it just, a nice clean space makes for a much smoother workflow and just a more peaceful environment to live in. If you like threw me in a room with a bunch of tchotchkes, it's like, <laughs> and my, oh, it's, oh, it would be my worst nightmare. <laughs> the next one is things that might be useful. Like, you know, those things that might have been useful that you've had for like 15 years. Like, and you never use them. Yeah, if you did not, if you haven't looked at it, touched it, or used something in like years, it's probably beyond the whole useful perspective. It doesn't mean you have to throw away everything, but like, really, come on, guy. It's been five years. You don't need things around that you don't like or that make you sad. If you have something in your environment that you just don't like, you don't have a use for, it makes you want to cry, throw it out. <laughs> just throw it out. It's simple. If you have things around you that you love and that make you happy and they're organized in a nice clean way and you can do everything that you need and want to do in a day, you're just going to feel a lot more productive, a lot calmer and a lot happier, which is the whole point yeah. of this channel. Our approach here is like real life practical application to happiness. It's not like, wow, we never get into anything deep or like meaningful or like, you know, you're just like living in some alternate universe happiness. This is like real life practical happiness. So. Subscribe to our channel, comment, you know, let us know if there's anything else that you'd like covered in other videos. We love getting the feedback. We love hearing from you. We do this for you. Uh, we really don't do it for any other reason. So there you go. We'll see you guys in the next one.